Bill Clinton. He was the 42nd President of the United States. He was born on August 19, 1946, in Hope, Arkansas, United States. His father's name was William Jefferson Blythe Jr. and mother's name was Virginia Clinton Kelly. Under the care of his maternal grandparents, while his mother was attaining a degree in nursing school, young Clinton learned to count and read. Interestingly, he was deeply inclined towards baptism and regularly attended gospel music at the church since a young age. He was a stellar student at the Hot Springs High School. In 1963, he attended the Arkansas Boys State, where he was elected as the representative of the Boys Nation and met the then-president, John F. Kennedy. That time, Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech tempted him to become a public figure. In 1968, he attended a Bachelor of Science degree in foreign science. During his college years, he found himself a significant place at the university politics. Post-graduation, he interned for Senator James William Fulbright. In 1968, he won Rhodes Scholarship to gain admission at the Oxford University. However, a call for military services disrupted his studies. In 1971, he first met Hillary Rodham. With similar political ambitions, the two had an awesome chemistry in between them and fell in love instantly. He later attained a junior doctor degree from Yale Law School in 1973. Upon graduating from Yale, he moved to Arkansas, where he took up the position of a teacher at the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville Law School. In 1974, though he lost the challenge to John Paul Hammerschmidt for a seat in the United States House of Representatives, and he soon became a star of the Arkansas Democratic Party. He tied the knot in 1975 at the age of 29. In 1976, he was elected as the Attorney General and two years later became one of the youngest governors in American history, defeating Republican Lynn Lowe. As governor of Arkansas, he set out idealistic goals for state education and health care system. But his limited knowledge and inexperience led him to handle important issues abruptly, which brought him down from the position in 1980. In 1980, they were blessed with a daughter, Chelsea. Unnerved by this, he worked at the Little Rock Law Firm for two years before bagging the governor office back again. He admitted his past mistake and pleaded voters for a second chance, one that he retained for four consecutive terms. During his second league as a governor, he took a centralist approach and was not driven by extremism. He was both traditional and liberal in his approach. He stressed on educational reforms and established competence tests for teachers. Furthermore, as governor, he appointed blacks to key government positions, designed welfare programs for people, favor death penalty. Other than serving as governor, he took the position of the chairman of the National Governors Association for 1986-87 and became actively involved in the Democratic Leadership Council in 1990s. In 1992, he defeated his party nominee in the Democratic primaries to become the appointed person for the upcoming presidential elections. Choosing Senator Al Gore as his vice presidential candidate, he started his presidential campaign. He mainly stressed on recovering the economic issues of the country. On November 3, 1992, he was elected the 42nd President of the United States, a position which he retained for two terms 
from 1993 to 1997, and 1997 to 2001. His health care reform bill was a major failure and led to Republicans gaining control of both the Houses of Congress in 1994. He brought out the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act, which instituted harsher punishments towards criminals. Also, he was responsible for increasing the national minimum wage. In the 1996 presidential elections, he was re-elected defeating Republican candidate Bob Dole. During his years as a president, American experienced great not economic boom, with lowest unemployment rates, highest home ownership rates, lowest inflation rate, and enhanced economic condition. He was responsible for the signing of the Oslo Accords between Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization as well. However, the only place where he earned negative reviews was the failure of the American military mission in Somalia and the inactive stand taken against Rwanda. Ever since the conclusion of his term of presidency, he has been active in the political circles, giving speeches, fundraising, and founding charities. He created Clinton Climate Initiative, which encouraged research on climatic changes. Additionally, he started the Clinton Global Initiative and the Clinton Foundation Haiti Fund. He played an active role in the Hillary Clinton's failed presidential bid and Barack Obama's successful presidential campaign. In 2004, he wrote the best-selling autobiography, My Life. President Barack Obama awarded Clinton the Presidential Medal of Freedom on November 20, 2013. We must teach our children to resolve their conflicts with words, not weapons," said Bill Clinton, 